everyone, it's Chain Face the Magical Gamer, and welcome back to Paper Mario. In the last episode, we fell a lot. <laughs> um, first, we were knocked out of the sky by Bowser. It's a long story. Um, and then we fell, uh, like, literally out the door um, because the entire, like, front porch was gone. Oh, yeah. Um, I would have thought that it would be back, but I guess, I mean, that doesn't really make sense. So, um, last time, I cannot remember any of the controls. Okay, I think, I think I got all the controls back. So, last time, um, in the last episode, we traveled, um, down this way a little bit after we fell, because I'm pretty sure Goompa, um, or whatever his name was, like, smashed the entire, like, front porch. So, yeah, now we have his hammer for reasons that will benefit us and hopefully Goompa. So, um, let's go and smash that. There we go, problem solved. I have a feeling your road will not be lined with difficulty, so try not to overdo it. Be watchful. Yeah, stay cool. A calm mind is the wisest. Oh, hang on now, Mario. I noticed that you aren't wearing the badge Goompa gave to you. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. You know, that badge won't do anything if you don't wear it. I think you'd better put that thing on before you go. Let's go and do that. Um. Wait, what? Wait. Okay, I guess I can press down with C um, to talk to Mario. This is Goomba Village. My family lives here. There's also a Toad House, which is, which, as you probably know, is a good place to take a rest. That big tree near my house is a great place to get Goom nuts. Oh, actually, I probably want to... Okay. Yeah, the Goom nut, a special nut found only in Goomba Village, restores three flower points. Okay. Um, so, I'm pretty sure one of the C buttons brings up the menu. I'm not sure which one it is. Um. Speak, speak. Um. Ah, uh, maybe plus. Okay, that. Okay, badges. Um, power jump. All badges. Power jump. There we go. So, I guess what it is, is like, you need to get the, um, wait, did I put it on? I can't even tell. Let me ask him. Uh, how do I talk to you? Wait, come back here. Do whatever. You need. Dad, did you hear I'm going out adventuring with Mario? I'll make you proud, Dad. I swear it. Just wait. Do your best, son. You've grown into a strong boy. I know you'll be a great help. It's a good thing you've spent so much time training, huh? Now do your old Goompa proud. Um... I have no idea if I equipped the badge. I guess I'll, like... Uh... <laughs> it doesn't really tell you at all. Active badge is none. Okay, so... Do I... Press? Okay, I think I just equipped it. Now am I wearing it? Active badges. Okay, looks like I'm wearing it. <sighs> um, what is this? Beware of Goombas. I thought that he said. Th oh no! <gasps> oh. Hey Mario, during the battle, you can change the order we attack in with Z. I can attack first if you want. I don't mind at all. Just keep it in mind, okay? Okay, let's try the power jump. There we go. It uses FP though. Okay, that did three damage. And that took him out. Nice. Okay, I got two star points. Nothing too crazy. If I could level up soon, that would be pretty nice. Oh, oh yeah, they drop stuff. All right. Um, okay, let's try to smash him. I, I still need to try to work on that timing. Oh, there's two Goombas. Okay. So let's try the Fire Flower, because this will take out all the Goombas, I think. I didn't really look at how much FP it uses. Maybe I should have. All right, but there goes both of those Goombas. Got four star points. And then, also some coins. Oh boy. 
So far, not so good with the hammer. Okay, so it's... Okay, so it was an item. Okay, let's go and use the hammer, I guess. On the Goomba. On this Goomba, I mean. Alright, let's see. Abilities, Head Bonk, Tattle. Okay, uh, that makes the HP visible. I know that Goombas only have three health, so that doesn't really um, help me too much. So far, only one damage. Oh, wait, is it only two health? Okay. Um, let's try... I don't really want to use any FP, so let's just try jumping. And then Goombario can finish up with a head bonk. There we go. So I can't remember how many star points you need to level up, but I do have all my FP back now. But there are so many Goombas around. Like, I need to be careful. Um, nothing to- Oh, it's a Paragoomba. I- Okay, I- Yes! Okay, I finally did it. First time. Okay, so that gets like one damage already just straight from the star. Um... Let's try to jump on the Paragoomba. Maybe I should have used a power jump. But um, now Goombario can head bonk this guy. And that should take him out. Yep. And then, oh yeah, he's going to attack first. Um, so then Mario can jump and defeat this guy. Got six star points for that. It's a little better, but... Alright, I did hit him this time with the hammer, which is a lot better. Uh, doesn't look like I can really go very far. Alright, I made the first strike, and this guy has the um, little hat thing on, so... Jumping isn't really going to help me at all. Alright, let's go and get the spike Goomba, and that should take him out because we already got the first strike. And then we can head bonk this guy. Nice. And he's going to head bonk me. And I'll just go and whack him with my hammer. Alright, so the Goombas really aren't that hard to deal with, especially with Goombario. Um, and that first strike can really be helpful. And what is this? The close ball, uh, the close call badge. When Mario's in danger, enemies sometimes fail to attack. Okay, should we... Uh, how much uh, BP does that need? It needs one, so I can equip this. Alright, nice. I think I put it on. Uh, eat, mushroom to, uh, eat a mushroom to regain your energy. When HP gets low, eat a mushroom with left on the C-stick. And, yeah, I thought so. You got the mushroom. Restores 5 HP, so that could actually be really helpful. And then let's... Okay, oh boy. You know what, let's... Should we just run, or should we hit him? No, let's go for it. I want to use the power jump. Oh, wow. Oh, no. I... <laughs> uh, I don't... Oh, no. I didn't... I didn't really think about... How many of them there would be. Um, I mean, it's good to take out all the enemies because you can get, like, experience and stuff. Alright, let's go and head bonk the Paragoon, but just to knock it out of the sky. And then they're both going to attack. But luckily there was a health recharge. Not too far down the road. So let's go and take out that guy. And also go and just finish up by... Bonking this guy with Goombario. Alright, we got nine star points for that. The more enemies, the more star points we get. So, that's pretty good. Here are some coins. I really don't know what they're going to be used for. I have 44 right now. So, hopefully there's like a shop or something. Um. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're going to the Mountain of Wishing. Or whatever it was called. Hey, hey, hold it right there. You, yeah, you, suspicious guy. Don't move. Oh, it's two Goombas. Aha, you're Mario. I knew it. You can't go past here, Mr. Big Shot. It's a direct order from the Goomba King. That's right. I'm sorry, but the only way is through the Goomba Bros. That's me and Red That's me, Red Goomba, and my brother, Blue Goomba. Uh-oh. Let's get him, Blue Goomba. 
Oh yeah, let's do it, my red brother. Oh boy. Alright, um, I don't have any fire flowers, which is kind of worrying. But I guess I'll try the power jump since I'm full on FP. Let's try it on Regan because he's really getting on my nerves. But yeah, these guys definitely have a lot more health. So let's try to just like keep them, like damage them evenly. Mario, how do you like some of this? <laughs> Not really much, but okay. Um, how do you like some of this? <laughs> okay. Um, actually, let's let's use Tattle on Blue Goomba. Uh, he's younger. He's the younger of the two notorious Goomba Bros. Max HP six, attack power one, defense power zero. As you heard in his little speech, he's one of the Goomba King's men. He doesn't look that healthy. He's weaker than his brother. Oh, okay. So I thought they would have um like the same amount of health, but um. I guess not. So let's uh, use power jump on him. And then I think that Goombario can uh, defeat him with that. Yep, nice. And that's going to give us a lot of star points. Blue, blue Goomba. Yeah, my little brother. You'll pay for that, Mario. Well, was that like snot hanging out of your eyeball? <laughs> Didn't look very natural. Um... I'm in danger, so before I recover, since he doesn't really do that much damage... Oh, wait a second. Oh. Okay, well, let's have Goombario just use Tattle for a second, because I don't know how much health he has. This is Red Goomba. He's the older of the notorious Goomba, the Goomba brothers. Okay, so he just has one, um, one health more than the other one, so it shouldn't be too difficult. There we go. One damage. Ouch. Danger. I know. Alright, Red Goomba, take this! Haha! <laughs> Alright, he just has two health left, so... Hopefully, I can hang in there for just one more attack. Alright, come on, Red Goomba. See ya! Alright. Got 20 star points. That's... That puts me up to 83. I still haven't leveled up yet. Yeah! I'll let you go for now. Seriously, the snot... I mean, I'm assuming it's, like, supposed to be a tear, but... It looks like just, like, a nose or something <laughs> hanging out of his eyeball. I'll, I'll let you go for now. There they go. But... I have a feeling that's not going to be the last of them. And actually, I might as well go back just so I can get my health recharged. There we go. Because it's just right there. Bam. Let's go up here. Oh, actually, there's a save spot just right here. So let's go and do that. Let's save. Nice. Alright, let's go and jump up here. There's still, even though it's like an RPG, there's still some platforming elements to it. And here's another mushroom for us. Oh no, it's a Goomba! Oh, oh that was a nasty trick! I, I still haven't really mastered the, um, the little, whatchamacallit, the, uh, the first strike or whatever it is. Alright, let's go and attack this Goomba right here. And then they're going to attack me. It's really important to get that first strike because you can really um, save a lot of health that way. But no matter, we can still go and take out the Goombas just fine. I'm assuming it's going to be like 100 star points is the next level. I'm not really sure. All right, here's four star points for us. And then some coins. And there's also a sign right here. Goomba King's Fortress ahead. Oh no, is this like... I'm not ready for like a dungeon. Uh-oh. I haven't even leveled up yet. Although I've defeated every single enemy. And as far as I know, done everything I can. And those are Goomba brothers. King Goomba, help us. Mario beat us up. I mean, luckily it doesn't look like that big of a castle. Although, you can never tell in these games. 
Hey, look, Mario. See that building over there? I'm pretty sure there used to be a bridge on the other side. I want. I wonder what happened to it. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't like that. I can't move right now. Uh oh, they're back. Oh no, it's King Goomba. <laughs> so, Mario, it's true. You've made it this far. I respect you for that. Unfortunately, this is as far as you'll ever get. Because I, the great and powerful King Goomba, will see that to you, do it that you advance no farther. You hear that, Mario? No farther. Not one step. Are you scared, little man? Mahaha! <laughs> yeah, you're scared, all right. You want to say you're sorry? Wow, that King Goomba is really huge. I'm sure he's no match for you, though, Mario. Let's get him. Ready to meet my wrath, Mario? You'd better be. All right, luckily I saved all of my FP, but oh, we need to fight all of them? Beat him up, King Goomba. We've got your back. Leave him to me. Oh, boy. Hey, Mario, I think maybe we ought to take out the Goomba Bros first, don't you think? They must be pretty weak since we just finished beating them up back there. Okay, okay, that's that's good. Um, so they only have two health right now. So let's go and... Wait, what? Goomnut tree. Okay. Um, so I think that I need to jump over... Yeah, I need to jump over them to... Um, I need to jump on them to get them. So let's go and head bonk this one. And that'll finish them off. Nice. And then... Uh-oh. Oh no, he's going to hit us with that oh boy that's actually doing a lot of danger um let's go and jump onto the red goomba and then goombario you can just go and finish him off like that there he goes and then uh -oh. okay so he only does one damage now might be a good time to have a mushroom though and that'll put me up to 9 health. So on, almost full. And then abilities. You can use Tattle. Because I want to know how much health he has. This is the Goomba King. He's really big. I mean, look at him. He, he looks really powerful. Max health 10 and attack power 1. Okay, he's the boss of the red Goomba and blue Goomba. Who cares if he's strong? You're much stronger. Yeah, I wonder what he ate to become so big. I'd like to be a bit bigger too. So I definitely have the advantage because I have Goombario on my team and I also have stronger attacks and healing items. So let's use the power jump on him. That does a nice three damage. And then we can use head bonk on him with Goombario. So far, so good. And he only can do one damage, although I'm expecting like a second stage at half health or something. But anyway, let's use the power jump again and that gets him down to three health. And then we can head bonk him again with Goombario. And then he's going to come and kick us. It did say I could, like, attack the moon nut tree. Let me try that. Oh! Okay, I guess that was what I was supposed to do. But I got 30 star points. And, yeah, I leveled up. Okay. So I can either get my HP up, my FP up, or my BP up. Hmm. Oh, by five, and then the BP is by three. So, fifteen health would be amazing. I might want to get some more FP though, because like that's really the only thing that I'm really struggling with. Uh, I can only use my badge like twice. What? Wh what? How could I lose? Oh boy, they're running away. The coward's way out. Yeah, I knew you could do it. Cool! Victory! You are very helpful, Goombario. So now, let's go and try to hit this tree. And, oh! It's another star piece. So I don't really know what these are for. I'm gonna assume um, they're for, like, 100% completion. Oh, I see him in there. Oh! Okay, I'm assuming that's going to, like, open the door for me. Let me talk to Goombario. I think there is a bridge between Toe Town and Goomba Village. If we, ha if we head east, we'll get to Toad Town. If we head west, we'll come to my house in Goomba Village. Good to know. And then let's go and jump on this. And I'm assuming that'll do something for me. 
Uh, Mario, good fighting and all that, and I must warn you, however. If you happen to find a strange switch somewhere, you should definitely not press it. Uh, press it. It's dangerous, understand? You what? You already pressed it? Yes, I did. Oh, boy. Oh, no! Uh, uh-oh. Oh, no! <laughs> I'm tearing the whole place down. Oh, oh, the windows are actually fake. Oh, it's just like origami or something. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, boy. Oh, there's a bridge. Oh, <laughs> I think that launched him way off into the mountains. Look, that the bridge. Now we can cross it and continue our journey. All right. All right. Let's head across the bridge. I mean, it was definitely worth looking around. Uh, can I smash this tree? Doesn't look oh, yes I can. Uh, are there any more coins? Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's go and also shake this bush. Um, anything over here? I mean, I'm not really too low on health, but a health recharge would be great. Oh, little question block. And what is this? The Super Shroom. A truly super mushroom restores 10 health. So I'm going to definitely like save this for like when I battle a tougher boss or once I get more health. Because um, if I, I'm going to really waste that because I only have 10 health. And so I won't really be using it like as much as it can fully. Oh no, it's Kami Koopa. Oh boy, this means nothing but trouble. Save and continue. Uh-oh. It's Bowser's... Well, Peach's Castle on Bowser's Castle. <laughs> yeah, that was very shocking. I was not expecting that. <laughs> Mighty King Bowser, I've been looking for you. A report your even this. Mario defeated the Goomba King. He's heading for Toad Town now. What? Unbelievable! That was Goomba King. What was Goomba King thinking? I used the Star Rod to make him a king because he begged me. And Mario whips him so easily. What a wimp! Ah, Kami Koopa, you are sure that Mario can never defeat us, right? Please, please, your violinist. Try to be calm. Goomba King is small time. I had a feeling he'd fail. It doesn't matter because while you, are, you hold the star rod, you are definitely invincible. You could beat Mario with one claw tied behind your back. Yes, yes, very good. <laughs> By the way, Kami Koopa, those star spirits we, we captured don't have any way of giving Mario their power, do they? Please don't worry yourself. Each is held separately, and each is carefully guarded by your hand-picked subjects. Even Mario can't save all seven of the star spirits. Hmm. Who's the closest star spirit to Mario? It's that one at the Koopa Bros Fortress, right? If Mario somehow re if Mario somehow reaches there, can the Koopa Bros defeat him? King Bowser, you mustn't worry. Hiya! <laughs> is the news? <laughs> Here come the Koopa Bros. Uh huh. Oh yeah, we're the coolest of cool. Scary Koopa, are you sure these guys can get the job done? That Koopa King was gigantic, and even he couldn't beat Mario. Just uh, get real, King ba Bowser. <laughs> yeah, the Goomba King was huge, but he was a total wimpola. We're nothing like him. See, what we've got going on is the power of teamwork. Together, we can put the hurt on Mario in seconds flat. Excellent, that's the spirit. Sell it, Koopa Bros. Show our king that special attack you do so well. Yes, ma'am. Ready, everybody? Oh, oh! God, this is, oh! How'd you like it? King Bowser, how was it? Oh yeah, excellent, really. I'm not easily impressed, either. Mario won't have a chance if you finish him with that attack. We'll take him, King Bowser. By the way, my Koopa Bros, about the captured star spirit I've locked up in your fortress, who's guarding him right now? 
Uh, nobody, sir. You know, we're here, and so... <laughs> you idiots, use your head! Get back to the fortress and guard that star spirit! <laughs> Alright. So let's go and head this way. Luckily, we got a sneak peek at some stuff. Hopefully, we know what to expect now. Although, maybe... <laughs> Maybe I should have upgraded my health instead of my FP because quantity is definitely going to be a lot tougher to deal with. You got the sleepy sheep. If it works, makes all enemies sleep for a little while. Okay, that could actually be pretty handy. I see a spring right there, so let's go and hit that. Nice. And then uh, I'm assuming that continues with the main path, but let's see what's up here. Maybe a star sh sh shard? The hammer throw badge. It's one enemy with the hammer no matter where the enemy is. Oh. Okay, let's let's put... Oh, no! Alright, I'm going to take off the close call. And then equip this. Because it's going to be really handy. Um, but yeah, that was definitely worth finding. Alright, let's head this way then. And Toad Town. Nice. We already made it. Mario, I'm Mario, I'm so glad you're okay. The town is in an uproar. The princess kidnapped. The fairy castle uprooted. It's Bedlam. I really don't know what we can do about all this. Please, Mario, save her highness. Will do. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to slam you. The town is in an uproar. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, let's see what everyone else is saying. I keep trying to slam them. The castle was taken away and Princess Peach was ca kidnapped. These are dark days. Everyone in town is suffering, and yet my heart cares for nothing but you, my sweet. What? <laughs> Does that make me wicked? My heart is the same, my love. It cares for you, none other. We are both wicked devils. <laughs> Alright, let's see what you say. I keep slamming. I have slammed every single one of these poor toads. Oh no, doom, danger. Princess Peach's castle has flown up. Oh, away up into the sky. No castle horrors. Only a hole remains. Our beloved castle. Where is it? Well, you just said it was in the, in the sky. Spread the word. Outrage. My toad voices kind of sound like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> um, so what's in this pipe? Is this how we got into Toad Town? Or... Oh, I can go down. Oh, it's Luigi. I wonder what my brother Mario is doing right now. Oh. Oh, there he is. Whoa, Mario, it's you. Good to see you. You're all right. After all that castle craziness, I was really worried about you. It didn't look like it. I ran outside just as the earthquake started, so I managed to escape in time. Uh-oh, looks like they saw each other. Oh, and who are you? I'm Goombario. Nice to meet you. I see. Great. Just great. You're on an exciting adventure with Mario. Talk about unfair. See, someone has to look up after this house, so I can't leave. Oh, well. Take care of Mario, okay? Alright, can I... Oh, I keep slamming people! Good luck, Mario. You just have to save that princess. Alright, let's see what Goombario says. It's your house. Cool. Nice landscaping. I like my house, but yours is even nicer. Did you do the decorating yourself? Probably not. I probably had me to do it. Uh, any mail? Doesn't look like it. Anything in the bushes? I jumped over the bush. That's not- that's the opposite of what I wanted to do. Alright, looks like we have some pipes over here. Um, is this just for, like, our plumbing work? Looks like it. So, let's go and head inside. Does Goombario still say the same thing? Yeah, okay. Um, what does this plant pot do? Just for decoration? Okay. Um, we have some vines. It's a good thing we don't have, like, a piranha plant or anything in here. I'm just slamming everything in my house. If you see a... Okay, uh, I already knew that. Um, what's this? You're at peak strength. Do you still want to go to bed? Don't sleep. Alright, um, here's the box where letters addressed to Mario go. It's empty right now. So I wonder if we'll get mail eventually. Alright, so... Oh wait, there's a sign right here. Coins earned, 47 badges collected, 
Three out of 80. Okay, star pieces collected. 160 star pieces! <sighs> Alright. Um, so let's try to, um, let's try to complete that record place. So I'm assuming I can, like, easily come back to that place at any time. Anyway, let's check out some of these buildings. Hello. Oh, salutations. You are Mario, are you not? Of course I know who you are. I'm the wise toad, Rusty. Pleasure meeting you. As you can probably tell, I love books and can read all the time because I'm so re well read. I know all sorts of interesting facts. Whenever you visit me, I'll be happy to share all of my knowledge with you. Are you talking to me because you crave knowledge that only my, in my intellect can provide? Then, how about this? So it is told that far away, at the very top of the sky, there exists Star Haven, where stars make their home. In Star Haven, there's a treasure called the Star Rod. According to legend, it was made with ancient magic. There are said to be stars that are part particularly strong and good-hearted. They are called Star Spirits. Using the magic of Star Rod, these Star Spirits grant the wishes of everyone in this world. That's why I wouldn't make a wish to the night sky and it comes true. It's all thanks to the star spirits and their star rod. If there's anything else you wish to know, please feel free to ask me. Alright, let's see what Goombaro says. This is the west entrance to Toad Town. In case you couldn't tell, it's the main gate. The fancy gate and the star emblem on the ground are symbols of this fair town. The Goomba Village, where my house is, is a brief journey west from here. You'll find a very smart toad named Russ T living in this town. He knows lots of useful useful information for adventurers. You'll also find some shops that sell various items. Oh yeah, there's also a dojo. Okay, I'll have to check that out. Uh, it doesn't look like there's too much to do in here except talk to Rusty. Alright, um, can I interact with this? Yep, okay, Peach's Castle is to the right. Can I just, like, get to Peach's Castle now? I mean, that would be a pretty bad idea. Oh man, look at all these items. Welcome to Shroom Grocery. How can I help you today? To buy, to sell, to check, to check. Okay. We can check three, uh, 32 more items. What would you like to check? Wait, what? Um, hold on. Can I, like, examine these things? Honey syrup. Okay. Uh, five. This restores FP. Um, I probably want a fire flower, but let me look at all of these. Um, flips shell enemies and inflicts two damage points on all enemies. If it, uh, okay, I already have that. Makes a scary spirit appear and chase some enemies away. I don't think that would be too handy in the boss fight, but I want to load up on, like, fire flowers. Yeah, let's buy... Let's buy... Let's buy three of these. And then, let's also try to buy two of these pow blocks. Because... Wait a second. I thought I had... Oh, okay. I uh, don't really have many coins left, so I guess I'll just get, like, a mushroom. Alright, I think that that's a pretty good... Um stock of items. Hey, Mario, did you know you can carry up to 10 items? Or well, you can't carry any more items. It's a good idea to go to a shop like this and ask them to hold items for you. You can even claim the items at any other shop. Pretty convenient, huh? Wait, is my inventory full? Um. Items. Key items, none. Items. Alright, um. I think... Okay, I do have everything. So, let's go and head down this way farther. Oh! Ha ha ha! You don't have it? The decree- Oh, wait, what? Um... The decree, Mario! The decree shows how strong you are! Ha ha ha! I have it! I fought at Dojo over there and got it from the master! I have one bad toad! <laughs> Mario, have you gone back to your house yet? Luigi was wondering how you were doing. You can go home through that pipe in the front of the main key over there. You can enter the pipe by standing on the edge and pushing down on your old stick. Why don't you wh say? Why don't you give me a, a tour of your house someday? Maybe I will. Well, uh oh. What? Who? Are what? Who are you? All right. Who are these people? Um. Peach's castle flew away. How 
could such a thing happen? What? What will become of the Princess Peach and the others who are in the castle? I'm scared, I'm scared, I fool Ace the Tea. I'm so scared. Peach's castle flew away. Oh yeah, okay. Um What's down this way? Is this okay, it doesn't look like I can go down there. So um I can go this way, or I can see what's going on up here. Our master is wandering the world to purify his mind and train his body. Our master is a strong man. He is going to come back a very strong, a very strong man. We will wait here, right in here, until our master returns. Waiting is part of our training. So can I not get past? Um, above us, on the top floor, there is a dojo. We train here, always training at the dojo. Unless our master isn't here, in which case the dojo is closed. A letter just arrived saying the master will return soon. We will train again soon. Okay. So I think I talked to everyone. So let's head this way. Alright, let's talk to Goombario first. This is the central area of the Toad Town, a plaza in front of, the, of Princess Peach's castle. Pleasant path begins to the east of here. This used to be a bustling area before Bowser's attack. Guests at the castle were always in and out. And tourists came from all over to see the castle. The wizard Merlin also lives around here. If you get stuck, his fortune telling might. If you get stuck, his fortune telling might ha help just help you out. There's also a toad house where you can take a short rest and a post office where you can pick up mail for your party members. Also, over by the flower garden, there's a guy named Ralph who's opening his own specialty shop. Okay. Hey, Mario, where is your heated on Shooting Star Summit? Never been? Just go through that blue gate right there and bear right at the Pe at Peach's Castle. Oops, I forgot. Peach's Castle's gone. <laughs> I noticed. <laughs> um, the theft of our castle caused great destruction here. The worst of it happened in the center of town. It seemed to rain wood. As a result, we can't get to the southern part of the town. Our tr the train station, the port, many important things lie south. Not being able to get there is a great inconvenience to me and to everyone. Alright, what's this? The Toad News Flash. Princess Peach kidnapped, castle uprooted. A few days ago, Princess Peach's castle was stolen. She was inside and is presumed, presumed kidnapped. The whereabouts of the princess are unknown, and where the castle once stood, there is now a gaping hole in the ground. According to witness, the castle rose into the sky. As soon as we get more information, we'll post follow-up reports on this board. Okay, I already talked to you. Um, what's in here? Is this a fortune teller? Merlin and out is out. Okay. Um, up on Shooting Star Summit, there are these two siblings named Mer Lovely and Merlo. Mer Lovely tells fortunes. She's really good at finding badges or star pieces. When you take star pieces to Merlo, he'll trade them for badges. These two could help you, no? You want to go meet them. Yeah, I probably should. Uh, there's the post office, and here's a save point. So, this is going to, unfortunately, wrap it up for today's episode of Paper Mario. In the next episode, we're going to be progressing to Shooting Star Summit, talking to a few more of the Toads, exploring Toad Town <clears throat> as much as we can, going into these few buildings. They look mean. <laughs> um, we'll be dealing with them in the next episode. And so, yeah, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Paper Mario, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.